Hello and welcome to another episode of The Top Shelf with me, Shantanu D. Today I've got a very special pen uh, for you all. It's the Ranga Pen Company. Uh, this is the Model 4 that we're going to be looking at today. This is the box that it comes in. This is uh, a very old company that is based out of uh, just outside Chennai in, in southern India. They've been making pens for many, many years. This is the box that it comes in. Uh, some details about their website and email ID. Uh, they also had lots of things in this box for such a small, narrow box. They had their visiting card with some of their uh, their models. The Ranga Sugarcane and the Ranga Giant, the Designer Emperor, the Desk Pen and various sorts of acrylic pens and ebonite pens as well including a bamboo one over here right so that's what uh, comes inside here one of the things you also get an eyedropper because you can eyedropper this pen because it's a massive massive pen they also chucked in a uh, a converter it looks like a standard schmidt uh, converter to me and what was nice to see is a freebie pen as well. Uh, I think this is from a brand called Olive Exam or something of that sort. It uh, looks like a very basic pen. Uh, I really haven't uh, opened it and I'll probably do a review of it at some other point of time. But nice to get a free pen inside the box. You don't find that very often. Right, so here is the pen. This is the Oranga model of four and uh, in cracked ice so just let you admire the uh, the pen it's a very baton shaped uh, uh, pen like a scepter or something like that almost with these pointy uh, with these pointy tops conical tops as well as a conical design on the bottom and uh, it's a good material it's nice nice resin Mind you, the camera is not doing justice to this pen. The uh, the color is not exactly the way I'm seeing it over here in front of me. Uh, it's not as um, as blue as it seems in the in the camera. All right, moving on. Let's uncap this. It takes a few uh, turns. It exposes um, uh, number size number six. Pardon me, size. Nib, the stainless steel nib, and this is a 1.1 mm. The nib has a plastic feed, which looks like a standard Jovo uh, nib, I believe, uh, German made nib. The grip section is quite comfortable, it's quite long, and there is a decent step down from here. The threads are placed over here. Quite comfortable, there's no, um, there's really no issues with this, uh, with this pen in terms of uh, writing and the comfort of holding the pen because of this flared lip over here. Right, moving on. Uh, this pen, because it's a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a pen which can be uh, uh, eyedroppered, uh, has a lot of threads when you open it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So yeah, about 13, 14 turns. And uh, I have a cartridge in here right now at the moment. So this entire thing is essentially your ink uh, storage. So, so it's a massive uh, ink capacity. You would probably need to, uh, uh, you know, put some, uh, some, silic some silicone gel at the end or if you have some o-rings rubber o-rings you can use them also to seal it i haven't tried eyedroppering it i don't like to eyedropper pens i think it's just uh, unnecessary mess so that is the ranga model 4 in cracked ice and that's how it looks quite a nice looking pen very light attractive how does it compare in size well of course it is pretty massive uh, compared to the Lamy Safari. And uh, although the, the weight wise is not very different, but completely different uh, appeal both these pens have. And of course, this particular one is not exactly a pocket pen. 
um, good for uh, long writing sessions I've found uh, which brings me to uh, the writing part of this uh, I have over here a sample writing of the Ranga model 4 uh, in cracked ice and uh, Rhodia paper with uh, with a 1.1 mm stub and the ink is this uh, Edelstein Tanzanite which is a sort of a blue black I would say uh, ink and the price is a pretty pretty decent also for this pen it's about 80 to 90 US dollars and five to six thousand Indian rupees and as I mentioned earlier it's a very comfortable pen to write with and uh, really no complaints it's really nice to see an Indian manufacturer who's been around for a long time they are a small uh, small setup just outside uh, the city of Chennai in southern India I believe it's a father and son and uh, uh, they do a lot of group buys and things like that. So um, really, I would I would uh, advise you know everybody should get uh, at least one Ranga pen because uh, really there are not many companies at least in India that are doing this uh, this kind of good work which has uh, been very very consistent over the years. Right. Uh, let's now take a sort of a live writing. Uh, demonstration duo in fact this is a stub nib so it's going to be a bit wet as I was about to say this nib tends to have a hard start sometimes but once uh, it starts it's beautiful see a skip again over there so I probably would need to tune this nib a little bit but no issues otherwise it's it's a very very wet writer as you can see it's a nice ink color as well so this is good line variation as you would expect from a, from a stub nib The downstrokes are an issue clearly, but this is not a major issue. Uh, it doesn't reflect on the pen. It really reflects on the quality control on the nib side. Right, what else do we have? Let's uh, take a closer look. Okay, let's now move on to see how this pen writes on uh, inferior uh, quality paper or uh, regular paper that you find in your offices. Uh, here we have it. We have the wrong uh, model 4 in cracked ice. Made in India. So, how does it do on this paper? I think it does uh, pretty all right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the review of the Ranga Model 4 in Cracked Ice. So do take time to like, comment, share and subscribe this if you like this video. And uh, if you like this pen, which I think is uh, really worth it, uh, give those guys at Ranga a shout and buy something from them. And I'd like to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.